Hi everyone, this is Tiana. And today, oh, it's getting a little chilly here in Hawaii, which is really rare to say, but um, I'm sure not as cold as some places of where you're at. So with the coziness and the chill in the air, I thought it was a really good idea to show you a mixed media manicure, but also really simple too. Um, you guys all know how I love really simple manicures that you can use that's quick um, and really easy. So today, like I said, I'm gonna be doing mixed media because I'm gonna be showing you stamping as well as stickers. So I hope you'll be able to stick around with me and chit chat for a little while uh, while I create the, this look for you and show you what I did. Okay. So let me just kind of show the items I have today. I'll be going over a little of these, but I just wanted to show you. So I'll be using stickers. I have some beautiful fall colors here. And I'm so happy to show you how to use um, the colors in your manicure. So this color is caramel. This is winter kiss. And this is Jack. And the last color I'm going to be using is nutmeg, which is like this beautiful kind of dark terracotta color. That's really gorgeous. Give me some hearts if you guys can rock and love these colors because I, oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> And the plate that everyone talks about, our best-selling plate, um, M052, I'm going to be using this design here. So I know a lot of times we get um, questions about that. Uh, not only that, we've done a video already, but I'm actually going to be using this, and so I'll kind of show you how to use that. And today I'm going to be using my monocle stamper. And if you see, ooh, this is our, um, our limited edition stamper that comes with this beautiful scraper card. So I will be using that today. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let me get my tips ready. Let me just take care of some of the, the simple, you know, anything that's like this, like one color. I'll just show you a really simple technique. That doesn't mean that you have to do it the way that I do, but, um, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So here I'm just taking a makeup wedge and I'm doing this technique so the, um, the polish will dry quicker. And so in the design, I had this as the pointer finger and also as the pinky. <laughs> So all I did was just put some of the Winter's Kiss um, onto the sponge and while it's damp, I'm just gonna dab it on, just like that. So it gives a nice even coverage. So you don't have to continue, you know, as it's um, wet, dab where you need to, but don't overly do it just because the, the paint is dry. And um, especially because I'm using our stamping polishes, it can definitely be used as a one coater which is, you know, I only put one coat for this. But um, basically you repeat that same method with the other nail. If you feel the need or if you want it darker, I would recommend, you know, just doing this process over again. But again, don't just keep going because you can actually be taking off polish. So just make sure you cover the nail. And also protect your nail too. If you have a latex cover um, or like a cuticle protector or a sticker, something like that. Okay, there you go. So that's done. And then I have one more solid color. So let me just put that sponge on the side. I have another sponge ready to use here. So I'm gonna be using caramel and I'm gonna be putting caramel on as the middle finger color. Okay, so let's put 
this beautiful toffee color or caramel <laughs> how fitting and i am going to just dab it on the these colors this is my jam <laughs> there you go so we'll just put those on the side and let that dry because the next part is where it's gonna take a little while because like I told you I'm doing mixed media I'm using stamping and I'm also going to be um, putting on a sticker over my stamp design so with this technique um, I do recommend we'll be using a lot of polishes because I'm going to be using uh, doing a smudge -a cure with you Definitely have you know a tape or something ready so you can easily clean off the your stamper head because chances are you will have excess polish kind of sitting on the stamper head here. And I'm also gonna be grabbing my crumpled little tissue here. And the reason why I do that is because you know we use our <laughs> mats a lot. So I'm not saying that you couldn't just do this directly on the mat. You totally could. Um, I'm being a little lazy today and um, just using the napkin. So you do it however you want to. So with this smudge cure, as you can see, it's really kind of a random design, but I kind of strategically, strategically random, if you can call it that, kind of put the darker colors on like the, the opposite corners here. So I can kind of show you how I did that. So we will be using... Um, uh these three colors okay so i'm leaving the caramel here i got the jack which is like that beautiful sparkly metallic and then also nutmeg okay so with the smudge a cure there's no rhyme or reason you just kind of do it how you do it so let's see i just go ahead and blot on the polish however you want Actually put a little caramel in that spot that I kind of wanted but that's okay like I said we're being creative this is stamping it's not a science you just kind of go with what you think okay so with this image very 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 important to kind of kind of keep a flat edge you don't want to do it like um, too upright because you can take out polish so I want to kind of use it to smooth move over and there pick up the image now because I was talking kind of waited a long time but let me just go ahead and um, stamp this onto the nail okay there you go there there's one let me know if you guys like this look or have you ever done a smudge cure Give me um, some thumbs up if you've done a smudge cure and you just love the technique. I think smudge cures are just really good ways to kind of have something um, eye-catching as your background, and then you can stamp, you know, something really simple and, and fun over the image. Okay. So like I always recommend, definitely clean your plate. That's a lot of polish. And then we're gonna do the process all over again. So just grabbing the same three colors. This time I'm gonna try and go the op oh, opposite. Probably shouldn't have done such a big piece, but that's okay. And I'm just using whatever polish is kind of sitting onto the brush. You know, you don't have to like really gob it on. So the technique, kind of make sure your card is flat because you're going to be scraping really flatly because you don't want to be scraping polish from the design. Okay. Oops. See, that's from me kind of talking. <laughs> That, I, that was completely my fault. User error. 
sometimes when you're talking, you know, you kind of forget to um, move quickly. I think it is kind of nerve wracking when I'm on live video um, showing you guys this technique and it just doesn't happen the very first time. But on the same note, I actually don't mind screwing up on the live video because I get to show you guys specifically how it all works. Some days you get it, some days you don't. And that's just kind of sometimes how it happens, you know, so. And, you know, if, say, for instance, you're a, a beginner just kind of starting out, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. So I'm here to tell you that even if you've been doing stamping for a long time, it doesn't work, work out perfectly all the time, too. Then you just kind of hone into your own um, te technique. Oh boy. Okay. I saw what I did. I actually scraped out too much. That one I know exactly what I did. So for the sake of not being here forever, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that image on. And let me see if I can kind of get a little bit more polish to maybe fill in that area. Ooh, and here I thought today was going to be simple. Who was I kidding? <laughs> okay, let me just kind of do something simple like that. Let's see what I can pick up here and mush together. Yeah, see? I did it again. Let's see what I can kind of stamp on here. Okay. Maybe today this might have to be an imagine kind of day. Imagine that it looks like this. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Alrighty, so while I let that kind of chill and dry, which actually it's, it is already dry, which is nice. It's nice and thin. Let me just close up my polishes here because I am done with that part. And make sure that you do too. Okay, so I want to talk to you guys about stickers. I know it kind of seems a little silly, but we actually do get questions about stickers so these are our stickers so if you didn't know we had them they're currently on the site today I'll be using this really beautiful kind of foliage um, I, they look like x-ray stickers to me because they're slightly see-through and um, I wish I could show you you it's I don't know if you can kind of see the outline of, of a fern in the background. So it is kind of like an x-ray style um, sticker. But we have some other ones. These are shooting stars. And then also we have these really beautiful snowflake ones. Maybe we might do something with that later. But, um, you know, our stickers, they come with information on how to use them in the back. And it's really not intimidating at all. Um, let me just open this up. Oops. So sorry, this one had a protective covering. I just kind of took it off. And the stickers are really thin. Now, the reason why we choose very thin stickers is because you don't want to use a sticker that's too thick. Um, and basically what I mean is like when you feel it, it just does it won't sit on the nail very nicely. Now, perhaps if you have flatter nails, not a problem, but if you are a person that has really big, uh, like a deep C curve, which means that this part of your nail really curves, especially as it grows, then laying down 
things such as a sticker or like a nail wrap sometimes doesn't work out the best. So I find that the thinner the um, sticker, the better. So I'm going to use this design here and there's, there's two of them. So this one and this one. And all I'm using is a basic like tweezer to help me lift off the image because again, these stickers are really thin so they can kind of rip easily. So something that's gonna help you guide off the sticker will be um, really nice. So it might need some slight maneuvering to lift this off. So having this tweezer just helps you to kind of lift off the sticker really nice and even like that. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and lay that sticker. Actually, before I think I come in, I'm going to push it down. There you go. I had it too far in the corner there. And just lightly kind of use your finger to smooth it out. So you see when I say thin, it doesn't leave like a really high, um, I don't know, what would be a good way to describe that? But um, it just sits really nice and flat. If the sticker was any thicker, sometimes you would be able to see that and it would make like sealing in your sticker really hard. And then also there might be lifting. So I think sometimes some people, they get really confused about what kind of product is this? Um, but yeah, stickers. So you do the same thing, kind of get this little stem here. And help coerce getting that piece off. And there you go. So I got the, the other sticker. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. There. And there you go. So look at that. Now that you have your completed image, you know, with all of your nails and, and everything, I want you to kind of exercise a little bit more of your own discretion. So today I actually have the smudge free top coat or a speed dry top coat. Um, now I'm letting you use whatever you want because even though we did do stamping, it's not like a stamped image of like a flower or something you don't want to smudge. I'm actually okay since I did a smudge -a cure if it does smudge a little bit. Um, and when I say smudge, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm meaning like to blend. <laughs> so, um, and in general, I actually prefer like a speed dry top coat if I'm not doing any um, like stamping just because I feel like for me I'm washing dishes I'm doing a lot and I feel like um, a thicker top coat would just help to it just helps me out a little bit more it helps to keep the manicure you know um, more secure so just do that don't forget to cap your free edge and there you go And I won't lie, when I do my own nails, I just gob the stuff on. Hmm, probably not the best, but I always do things heavy handed. <laughs> I guess with stamping, it's, it's helped me to be a little bit more delicate with the way that I do things. So there you go. So basically, if um, I wanted to, I just can go do a top coat. Also, if you wanted to finish it off with a matte, I think that would be very gorgeous too. And actually by looking at this, I guess because it's me, I can kind of see my mistake, but it, it looks okay enough and it kind of blends in together. So just give me a thumbs up. This, this guy had a little hard time today, but that's okay. Um, I think I see a question and I'm going to assume that question would be um, asking about taking off the stickers with acetone. Um, 
yes, the stickers will come off when you take off the rest of your manicure. So um, really simple. You don't need any special technique, but just, just do that. Okay. Pretty simple and straightforward. Doesn't look like I have very many questions, but if you have any ideas of what kind of designs you'd like me to do, I would really like to stay in the season. Um, I think it's just, we're all feeling it. I love these colors. I mean, I would wear these colors every single day, really. Doesn't matter what season it is. But if you guys have some ideas that you wanna see on my hand, just let me know. And I'd be happy to do a manicure with you guys and, and chit chat. So that's all I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about anything that I covered um, today, feel free to go ahead and just continue writing them in the comments. I, I my team will um, do our best to get back to you. So be safe out there, stay warm, be nice to each other, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, okay? Bye.